to look a lot like Christmas. Eddie Murphy and Tracy Ellis Ross lead Prime Video's Candy Cane Lane. The holiday comedy is about a father determined to win his neighborhood's house decorating contest. He makes a pact with an elf who casts a spell that brings the 12 days of Christmas to life. Christmas movies, what I love about them is they're for the whole family. And there's nothing like uh, entertainment that brings everybody together that everybody can watch. I just want to yes, win this she thing. is so right. The comedy reunites Eddie Murphy with Reginald Hudlin, who directed Boomerang. It is currently streaming on Prime. That looks like a good one. That looks great. Yeah. I, I love it. And I mean, listen, Tracy Ellis Ross is amazing, but put Eddie Murphy in anything. Right. I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> Especially like that, where it looks like he's having fun putting the movie together. All right, speaking of movies, can't talk of movies without Kevin. Yes. He joins us now. What you got for us today, Kev? All right, good morning to you. There's a beautiful new documentary out on Netflix called American Symphony. It follows the life of John Batiste and his incredible wife, Suleika. Uh, and basically, John Batiste had just been nominated for 11 Grammys, and at the same day he got the nominations, his wife was actually going into chemotherapy uh, and it's a really uh, a story about contrast but also a beautiful story about a relationship and I spoke to both of them uh, uh, two days ago about this incredible documentary streaming now on Netflix take a look my first day of chemo his 11 Grammy nominations were announced I won the biggest prize in music and come home she's back in the hospital this is what we're dealing with both of you have an incredible body of work in the in the fields that you work in with writing obviously with music and things like that and it got me thinking about each of your perspective on the other's work um and i was wondering uh john is there a favorite piece of writing that sue has done that has meant a lot to you that over the years like you go oh that's something that's really profound sue for you is there a song that means more to you now than it maybe it did when you first heard it. Wow, so I think for me, I, I love all of the work that she does and she's so much more than just a writer when she decides to paint, it's incredible. She's a community builder. And one of the things that I think brought it all together was this piece that she wrote in, in um, covering a hospice unit in uh, of a prison where there were, all of these different pockets of humanity and different forms of uh, folks who had interruptions in their lives and things that went in a direction that led them to being where they were. You know, I'd say uh, John's song, Butterfly, on um, his latest album, World Music Radio, it's a song inspired by a lullaby he composed for me when I was in the hospital. We spent a lot of time creating together. I would be painting or writing and John would be composing these lullabies to bring a sense of peace to an atmosphere that often isn't peaceful. You know, hospitals are noisy places. It's hard to rest, to see it get nominated for song of the year at the Grammys. Uh, that feels like an extraordinary moment and also a reminder of how dramatically things can change in two years. So mm. the last Grammys, I was watching it from the couch, and this time around, we get a do-over, um, and we'll get to be there together. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, and the American Symphony is now streaming on Netflix. Thank you so much to Suleika and John Batiste for the time. We'll have more coming up on Good Day. It's great. And I know, Kev, I know you notice things like positioning. John, arguably the bigger star in the yep. family, but Sue right out in front yes. there, right? Front by design, I'm Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And they look like they were in that. their home together. Yeah. I, I really, really enjoyed that. Film. Love it. All right, Kev, we'll see you on Good Day. And